Well, let me ask you this then. Um, I guess tell me, uh, you know, what what is your, I guess you know, mindset or thought process, and when when you're actually DJing a party, like, do you make the playlist ahead of time? Or are you playing to the crowd? You know, um, you know, I, what's your what's your mindset? Um, no, I don't make a playlist ahead of time. I do sometimes. Well, I try to always um, create like a preparation folder. So I will be listening to music, you know, the day of or even like up to a week before. And music that I find is like really inspiring me in that moment. Like I'll, I'll tend to drag into that folder. Okay. So that I will have it at hand. Um, it doesn't mean I'll use it, but it's just stuff that I've listened to recently that I was really enjoying. Mm. Um, then I also just have like all my folders that I've had to create, you know, organizing by genre, by like energy level is how I do it. I know okay. everything their own system. Um, yeah, when I'm DJing, I'm really focused on serving the people on the dance floor. Mm. You know, um, I think when I started, maybe this is one thing to go back to your three things I wish I had known. It's not just about, what you like and I okay think okay in my learning process um or or it's not just about what you want them to learn right it's still about them like there's this give and take so um I'm trying to think I'm trying to figure out first of all like what do they like what keeps them dancing you know sometimes you are playing salsa for a crowd and they only like medium tempo salsa so, you know they can't handle fast salsa or mm. A gig I had recently, they, they could not handle fast bachata at all. Um, you know, so I'm just, I'm noticing these things. So some songs go over well in the beginning, some don't, but I'm learning about that crowd. Um, I also am really focused on keeping energy flow. So mm. it's not like a roller coaster, right? Like you right, right, right. You can't have just a but straight fast the whole time, right? Oh, that's exhausting. Right, of course. Get up and then you bring it down. You give them a little break, but it doesn't mean you play boring music as you bring it down. It's just you change it somehow. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know, but that will keep people on the floor and not like running to go get a seat. <laughs> um, and I am also focused on providing them something new because sometimes, you know, I've been exposed to places where, you know, all this, the songs. Sometimes you almost know what songs are going to be played next. Of course. So I try to play what they like and what really inspires them and that they can sing to, but also some new stuff that maybe they don't realize they might like. Right. So there's all these things that are going through my head at the same time while I'm DJing. Yeah. 